Okay, so I'll start with my three 80 watt solar panels. The, they're connected in series, so they give off 40 odd volts, around about 40 to 60 volts you usually see from them. Um, the, what I, they are 12 volt panel, 12 volt charging panels. But, uh, I've got them connected to the maximum power point tracker. They're my old batteries, 140 amps. I've just swapped them for some new 225 amp batteries. They're getting a bit old and I wanted to run a bigger inverter and that to power my microwave and all that without running my generator. This is the maximum power point tracking solar charger. I'm really happy with it. I have no but good things to say about it. It is. I've been running it for about a month now on those other batteries. I can't imagine it being any different on these ones, but uh, there's a battery. And that's the inverter. Uh, that's, then I've got the little monitor for it just here. As you can see, they only give you about two meters of cable, but it's only Cat5 Ethernet cable, so I just run run another line to it. It's about five meters, something like that. Um, and it's not it's not affected any at readings that it gives you. It doesn't affect it at all. I'm no longer. As you can see, the solar panels are charging at 4.4 amps, and they're giving off 40 volts. And uh, the battery's at 12.8 volts. There's no load currently on it. I'll just put the light on. And then give it a second. They got 1.6 amp, two little halogen bulbs. 450 amp batteries. And it's 24 degrees. Really, the percentage the percentage of charge is always I don't know how accurate that is. It always says it's about fifty percent, unless solar panels are on. Then it solar panels are regulating, and then it just goes up to hundred. But when solar panels aren't regulating, it's always at fifty percent. But uh, I've never flattened batteries on it. I, I've never even flattened the one hundred and forty amp, amp batteries. So we'll see how we go with these bigger ones. Uh, 450 amp. I have no idea what that means. 17N. No idea. And then that's what amp hours and what hours you use. It's fairly interesting. It's a little bit disappointing that it doesn't give you a direct amperage output, but I get why it can't because it wouldn't be very accurate there. So it just tells you what, what you're putting into your battery. So Two, 2 amps is going into the battery and 1.7 amps is going into the load, so you're getting 3.7 amps from your solar panels. If I just turn that off, you'll see that that probably goes up 3.7 amps somewhere around that. Oh no, it must have gone a bit dull. Zero. Oh, there you go, 4 amps. So, uh, that's it. That's what I've got to say about that. I know I have run the pulse width modulation charger which you can see on my other videos for quite a while and I really do prefer this one. It really with the pulse width modulation charger you find when you put a load on it and your batteries are fully charged during the day you get like a uh, you have to flatten the batteries before it'll start to load them and I really don't like that. With this one it so this the power from your solar panels just goes straight to your load or if your load's not using it, it charges your batteries I really like that because it keeps your batteries voltage very stable and uh, it just it pretty much stays the same voltage all day as long as you don't flatten them like during the day but uh, I'm really happy with it I've not got good things to say about the little charger and uh, if you have any questions I uh, want to, you know, want to say anything about anything. Then please comment below. Thank you for watching my video.